What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? This is Philip Twinry on November 15, 2016, and let's take a look at this system. This is a green energy production system. Basically, I manufacture, store, and consume power in this system here. I'm going to go ahead and go over to all the components for you. This is your charge controller. It's a Midnight Classic. I do not recommend going over the rated, up to the rated um, wattage. For instance, if you got a 24 volt system and you want to put 3,000 watts on it, you need to get two, two charge controllers because you're going to kill it. Uh, but I digress. Let's not talk about that. This is just a basic overview of my system. This is a Magnum 48 volt inverter. This inverter is running at 48 volts. 4,400 watts as needed an 8,800 watt surge I think that's what it is it's pretty close to that if not below the inverter is an MP panel basically it uh, controls the amps going through it and it's got room for more breakers right here what I intend on doing right here is uh, what I'll do is add some saltwater batteries individually I'll be able to add many different saltwater batteries I could probably put in uh, six right there and be pretty happy with the system for life uh, you can see the conduit that runs down this is where all the wires are inside of the the stuff I mean you got conduit that goes outside of the solar panels and you got conduit that goes over to the main distribution panel so let's go over here and take a look so I've wired everything up here I can go ahead and explain everything to you this is our main panel this is the old panel that was in the house originally all these breakers these 110 volt breakers are off and the 220 volt breakers are on okay and that's because I don't want to run 220 volt stuff off of this small inverter maybe if I had two or three inverters I would consider running some of that stuff but right here you can see all the these breakers are on these are 110 volts so since all these right here off I have to run the house off of solar and these two breakers are for the inverter and the power going in to the panel sub panels see this is the main breaker focus my generator back up okay so basically all these are the 110 volt circuits I wish it was a bigger panel I'd probably add the stove but I'll live so here's some shelving I was going to use for some batteries. I was thinking about doing uh, a couple more battery banks. But, I mean, I'm running out of room in the garage, too. So maybe I just start putting stuff on these shelves because I need the room. I mean, you can see I've, everything's a mess everywhere. It's, you know, terribly messy everywhere. But, uh... You know, I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Let's go outside and take a look at the uh, energy production on the roof. So here's our uh, solar panels. They're up on the roof. And they're doing what they need to do. They're put, there's 7, 3,750 watts of solar energy. And they produce with that classic about 2,700 watts during full sunlight days. Recently, uh, in the area, there has been a lot of pollution from uh, forest fires. It's, it's smoggy looking everywhere, so you, won't, you can't tell it in the camera, but I mean, I can smell the smoke, you know. But I was just going to show you what, uh, what's going on. Maybe eventually I'll add some more solar panels on the right side. Put some uh, hot water heater panels up that way. I'll mount those flat to the roof. But, hey, it's not that big a deal right now. We're just 
you know, trying to survive with what we got, it's, it's really difficult to build a solar array. And my biggest problem for building a solar array was not knowing how much I needed and what I needed from beginning to end. And that is a very good question. Here we use about 38 kilowatts of energy a day and or we can produce about uh, 10 to 15 because I, I believe the charge controller is having a stroke but we're, we'll, we're not going to worry about that right now what we're going to worry about is you know moving forward so if I have any advice for a solar array anybody building a solar array don't cut your battery short because that's the worst thing you could possibly do. I mean, sizing the solar panels and charge controller and all that too small, it's kind of like a, a bad way to go, but a really bad way to go is not to be able to run all night long. Uh, if you want to build a solar array, I want you to consider running all night long, every night, including cloudy days and stuff like that. Now this solar array here uses, it makes about two kilowatts of energy a day when it's raining. I mean, when it's just die hard rain, it makes about two kilowatts of energy a day. And that is basically enough to run a refrigerator. So you need to take consideration in that. I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of over here. Oh look, they're wasting energy. They got their porch light on. They got their light on. Porch lights on. They're wasting more energy than it takes to light every light in my house. That's funny. No big deal. Well, this is solar power, electricity, and electronics. I'm Philip 20. This is my off grid power system. Hello, that. ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.